Good morning. Okay. We're going to do, let's see what they're up to. This is my cross watchers. And this is if you're dealing with a Capricorn. A Capricorn. Okay. So, for my cross watchers, what are my Cappies up to? My cross watchers want to know. My cross watchers want to know. Some of that trust. So they even have, they're either having trouble trusting you, trusting someone else, trusting, you know, work. I'm going to clarify, so we'll see. What do my cross watchers want to know about my Capricorns? Okay, so no need to worry. Trust the situation, my little cappies. Okay, well, my cross watchers that are dealing with cappies. Okay, I'm gonna get their energy, cappies energy. That's too many. What are my Cappy's energy? Capricorn energy for the rest of December. For the rest of December. Okay, so we got healing and exhale. I only wanted one. But um, your cappies are trying to heal, okay, internally, physically, mentally, breathing, you know, um, maybe they're retreating a little bit, maybe they're having a hard time, um, there could have been something going on with the health, but to me, you know, I'm going to clarify, oh, you can't even see those, sorry about the troops, okay, so let's see all right so let's clarify see what the trust is about when trust and no need to worry come out that's you know that's the universe saying trust the situation if you're worrying stop this is what your cappies are kind of up to they're healing they're breathing, retreating, if that's the case. Okay, tell me about trust. Capricorn trust. We got the three of wands. So you might be dealing with somebody at a distance and it makes you a little nervous. Um, there could be something on hold. You might need to have some patience. You know, waiting, waiting. Um, maybe they're waiting on you. Thinking about you. Um, kind of feeling unloved. Definitely healing. Goes along with that, you know. Um, I don't think the Five of Swords was reversed, so there might be a little regret. Tell me about no need to worry. And you got the lovers, okay, and the nine of pence. So I don't know if there's a third party or not, but they certainly know that they have a sacred bond with somebody. And this is also the universe saying to you, you know, if this is a very important person to you, this cappy, you know, um, there is something very sacred here. They do appear to be single. Um, it was reversed, okay. So, they, hmm, some of them could be dating. Right now, I feel like it might be a little lack of confidence. Or they're not really feeling secure. Because I, I don't feel confidence. I feel like they're not really feeling secure with the situation. And, and that, that could be you. 
all right but again when the lovers come in it's usually a divine partnership it's a strong bond it's sacred okay um so let's find out about healing what's going on with healing i mean it speaks for itself right but they got the nine of cups so wishing happy it usually is like happiness um to me she looks like she or he is just talking to the divine kind of making a wish it almost reminds me I, I feel like she has like a dandelion in her hands it might be a dandelion um no, just hoping you know waiting for happiness possibly i didn't even notice that there's judgment right here that flipped so an apology a second chance a rebirth forgiveness hoping that it looks like she's hoping for a second chance i don't know if she's dealing with um a king of swords something ended with a soulmate for sure right um but it's over. This does not need to be an Aquarius. It can be any sign. It's just the the person or the cross watcher is um, very logical right now about things, going about things that way. Okay, but she's hoping for a second chance. The universe is telling you to trust the situation. Maybe there's some trust issues, um, jealousy, doubt. Not really sure what that's pertaining to, but there is some distance between you guys okay um so hoping hoping for a second chance um knowing something sacred i wouldn't say she's not feeling herself because this looks like really good energy she is healing working through things with the breathing tell me about breathing and exhaling so it's like, take a big breath, you know, the, well, they're taking a big breath because this is the the guidance from the universe and this is their energy, right? So we have the Six of Swords reversed. So <sighs> not wanting something to be over, right? Um, harsh lesson type thing. I think this is your Six of Swords, you know, because again, they're definitely healing and the five of swords is at the bottom of the deck. So it's almost like hoping for a second chance, probably from a cross watcher that hasn't quite gotten themselves out of a situation yet. Because if they have, it would it would be reversed. So so still thoughts, right? Because the five of swords is reversed from five of the six, six is learning lessons, moving slowly, walking away, right? But it's it's still reversed. So to me, I feel like this is you guys' Six of Swords. They're waiting on you, hoping for a second chance, you know, when it comes to whatever situation you guys are in. Okay. So I'm going to pull from this deck real quick, see if we can get any other messages. I'm going to wrap this up. So this is going to be my cross watchers, you know. Kind of like what I wanted to do was your best advice for my cross watchers, but I don't have I don't have that deck with me. I can I guess I can take it from this. So best advice for my cross watchers. Actually, you know what? Additional, additional information. Because I'm going to get your best advice from this deck. Okay, so additional information. For my cross watches, for my cappies, additional information. That's 
that's way too many. But I'll pop the devil. Could just be their energy. So we have the lovers. Okay. Um, so this is either, you know, just went black. They're either waiting on you. It, to me, it's it's make a decision. Okay. Or they're waiting on you to make a decision. It, it's clear as day. It's it's one or the other. Now we have that out twice. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Or my cross watchers could be a Gemini. Or this Cappy has a lot of Gemini in the chart. However that goes down. So let's get your best advice. Cross watchers, best advice. You got the ten of Ariel, okay. Um, there's so much to be grateful for. This is the ten of Pence, okay. It's financial success. It's a promise of a retirement. It's a rich, rewarding family life. So, this does talk about a long-term situation. It does talk about commitment, okay. You got the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Sudden and immediate results. Important communication. So, your best advice is to, you know. For some of you, definitely reach out. This is a guided situation ship with the love is coming out twice too. Okay. And the universe is asking you to trust and, and to not worry. So, and if they happen to reach out, it's your best advice, but it can be vice versa. So if they happen to reach out to you, you know, open communication. Looks like there's some type of commitment or a, a long-term situation ship for sure. Okay. I hope that helped. Love you guys. Bye.